Ever scratched your noggin wondering why stars, those big round balls of gas, appear as tiny twinkling points in our night sky? Now that's a celestial query that has puzzled many. You see, stars are indeed round, much like our very own sun, massive, fiery, and perfectly spherical. Yet when we gaze up at the night sky, they present themselves as tiny, pointy specks of light. Now don't go blaming your eyesight just yet. This isn't a trick played by your peepers, but rather a fascinating piece of science at work. This mystery, my friends, is wrapped in layers of astronomy, physics, and a pinch of human perception. It's a tale of starlight traveling across vast cosmic distances, only to dance and twinkle in our earthly skies. So buckle up and hold on to your hats. Stick around, y'all. We're about to embark on a cosmic journey to solve this starry mystery. Stars, dear friends, are not born pointy. They're as round as a baby's bottom. Now let's dive into a cosmic journey, unraveling the birth of a star and its spherical allure. Picture cosmic gas and dust floating around in the vastness of space. These aren't aimless wanderers, though. They're drawn together by the invisible strings of gravity. As they cluster, they begin to spin like a cosmic ballet twirling in the grand theater of the universe. This dance creates a dense core of material. The pressure is so intense that atoms start to fuse together, a process known as nuclear fusion. And voila! A star is born, radiating light and heat into the universe. But here's the kicker. This newborn star is not pointy, it's not square, it's round. Why round, you might wonder? Well, imagine a crowd of people all pushing towards the center of a circle. No matter where you stand, the pressure is the same from all directions. The same principle applies to stars. The immense gravitational pressure pulls inward from all sides, molding the star into a perfect sphere. So, stars, those twinkling little dots we see in the night sky, are actually massive glowing spheres. They're like celestial marbles, each a fiery testament to the laws of physics. But if you're scratching your head wondering why these spherical stars appear as pointy specks, you're not alone. It's a cosmic conundrum that has puzzled stargazers for centuries. But fear not, we're not about to leave you hanging. So, if stars are round, why the heck do they show up as pointy specks in our sky? Buckle up, we're diving deeper. The culprit, folks, isn't up there in the heavens, it's right here in our eyeballs. Now isn't that a twist? Forget the cosmos for a moment and let's talk about the magic right here on Earth, inside our peepers. Our eyes, these marvelous orbs, are our windows to the universe. They gobble up light, chew it up, and spit out images for our brains to feast upon. The light enters through the cornea, travels through the lens, and hits the retina at the back of our eye. The retina, that's where the magic happens. It's like a movie screen for the light show the universe puts on. But what does this have to do with stars looking pointy? Well, it's all about a little thing called diffraction. Picture this, when light waves from a star or anything else pass through a small opening, like our pupil, they don't just keep marching straight ahead. Oh no, they start to spread out, they dance, they intermingle. This is diffraction, folks. And the smaller the opening, the more the light waves spread, the wilder the dance. Now our pupils, they're not exactly gaping holes, they're quite small, especially when we're looking at something bright, like a star. So. The light from stars gets a pretty good diffraction dance going on by the time it hits our retinas, but why does this make stars look pointy? Well, when the light waves spread out, they overlap, they interfere with each other. And this interference creates patterns. When these patterns hit our retina, our brain interprets them as points of light. So the starlight enters our eyes as tiny disks of light, gets all diffracted and interfered into a pointy pattern, and voila, we see pointy stars. So, it's not the stars that are pointy, it's our eyes playing tricks on us. Ain't that a hoot? Let's get down to the nitty-gritty. It's all about light waves and a little thing called diffraction. Now, don't let that word scare you off. Diffraction is not as complicated as it sounds. It's the reason why you see a water ripple when you toss a pebble into a pond. It's the same principle that makes a guitar string vibrate and produce sound when you strum it. Think of light as a wave, like the waves you see in the ocean. When these waves hit an obstacle, they bend around it. This bending is what we call diffraction. Now imagine our eyes as the obstacle. When the light from stars reaches our eyes, it diffracts or bends around the tiny opening of our pupils. So here's where the magic happens. As the light bends, it spreads out and creates a pattern. This pattern is what we perceive as the points of a star. You see, our eyes aren't just windows to the soul. They're also little artists painting the night sky with pointy stars. But wait, there's more. 
stars twinkle, right? Well, that's also because of diffraction. As the light from a star passes through our atmosphere, it encounters different air densities. This causes the light to bend and change direction, which makes the star appear to twinkle. Now you may ask, why don't we see pointy suns or pointy moons? Well, that's because they're much closer to us than stars. The light from the sun and the moon doesn't have to travel as far, so it doesn't diffract as much by the time it reaches our eyes. So we see them as round, not pointy. To sum it up, diffraction is a fascinating phenomenon that transforms the light from round stars into the pointy stars we see in the night sky. It's the reason why the night sky is a canvas of twinkling, pointy stars. So, thanks to diffraction, our eyes transform round stars into pointy wonders. Who knew our peepers were such artists? Now let's wrap this up, folks. We've journeyed from the birth of stars to the science behind our deceiving eyes. So let's take a moment to glance back at the cosmic pathway we've traversed. We started with the fiery birth of stars, those celestial bodies of wonder. Born from clouds of gas and dust, stars are indeed round, not pointy. They're like cosmic meatballs, simmering in the celestial sauce of the universe. Then, we moved on to the art of seeing stars. We discovered how our eyes, wonderful as they are, can sometimes play tricks on us. Whether we're squinting at a distant star or admiring it through a telescope, our eyes perceive that heavenly body as a pointy object rather than the round sphere it truly is. That's our eyes putting on a magic show, folks. Next, we delved into the fascinating world of diffraction. Remember that? It's the scientific phenomenon that occurs when light waves coming from the distant stars bend around the edges of our eye's pupil. This bending causes the light to spread out and form a pattern that our brain interprets as points. So in simple terms, diffraction is the cosmic DJ, remixing the light from the stars into a pointy light show. So what's the pointy end of all this? Well, we've learned that the pointy stars we see twinkling in the night sky are not really pointy at all. It's a cosmic illusion, a trick of the light. The result of our eyes doing a little dance with the incoming light from those distant stars. And isn't that just a marvel to contemplate? So next time you're gazing at those pointy stars, remember it's not them, it's you. Now ain't that a star-studded revelation? Before we part, let's lighten the mood with some starry humor. You know, stars have a funny way of keeping their secrets. For instance, did you ever wonder why stars don't play hide-and-seek? Well, they'd always be spotted. And how about this one? Why don't stars like to write letters? Because they'd rather plan it. Now, here's a classic for you. Why was the star a bad cook? Because it kept burning dinner. And finally, here's one for all you science buffs out there. Why was the neutron star caught speeding? Because it couldn't resist going light speed. I hope these cosmic quips brought a smile to your face or at least made you groan in a good-natured way. After all, humor is just another wonderful way we connect with this vast, beautiful universe of ours. Remember, folks, the universe is full of mysteries, and so is our perception of it. Keep gazing at the stars and keep laughing at the quirks of our universe.